And I think for me, it's about taking yourself to the point of discomfort. And I think it's about embracing and, and really adapting to opportunities and changes when they occur. And, and I think we all generally tend to be in a comfortable place around people that we like, people that we know, things that we're good at. But I know for me, the best personal growth and the best growth in our business has been when we've met that intersection, that junction point where we can go left or we can go right, uh, not taking the easy path, choosing the harder path, pushing yourself a little bit, asking for help, um, leaning on your peers, um, but ultimately getting yourself out of the comfort zone uh, has really had the greatest dividend both for me personally and professionally. Well, for me, I look at the Spatz family and the Sobe family as uh, you know, mentors in this business. That's, these are the people I learned from as to how to conduct yourself in business. And so for me, that's about humility, that's about hard work, it's about trying to recruit smarter people than yourself and you know, can be courageous to actually forge into markets that you're not you know, necessarily familiar with and try to figure it out as an entrepreneur would. And so and it shows that Atlantic Canada families and companies can succeed on a national level and very much a local level. So for me, it's about the mentors, the people that you have you know, connected with in this industry and what they've, they've taught you. For me, that's been the biggest foundational piece as, as somebody who's now in a fortunate position to lead. So very lucky to have great people along the way. I think the biggest impact on my career, uh, you know, it, it, it's people. And I can, I can look back over a very, I guess, uh, pretty long career now, uh, over 30 years, and I can point to people along the way who have been pivotal to decisions that I may have made, usually good decisions, particularly around my career, but also just the folks who have been so willing to share of their experience uh, and that helped me to see things in a different way, to see things in a better way, to see things in a more complete way. And so for me, the biggest lesson I take away uh, from a 30 year business career is that everything which was given to me by way of mentorship and support uh, by senior people, I now try to give back to a younger generation so that they can have the same benefit. It's a difficult question because you're asking for just one. But there is one that does stand out and I often think of it. About 25 years ago, I met someone who had sold his business. I'm a CA by training. And so I asked him and I had heard that uh, he and his partner had been together for you know, 25, 30 years and I asked him what his recipe for success was for that, that partnership to last that long. And he said, Robert, you need to know when to say nothing. And that has been arguably the most important thing I've learned over the years and all the partnerships I've been in is you have to let the little things go. Nobody wants a partner that's going to be a nag. So you just need to pick you know, the points. If it's ethical or moral, that's a whole different discussion. But generally speaking, you need to know when to say nothing. That pays.